Hey guys, Guy Level here. So this lovely man has a website where you can download a whole lot of cool things for your live stream, including some music widgets. And that's right, that's completely free. So I thought, hey, let me get this for my stream and then maybe create some design to put behind it. Whole process is super simple. Add it to your cart, check out, it's completely free. Put in your contact information. I don't need to teach you how to buy stuff online. I got mine specifically for YouTube music. After you get it, it will bring you to a page explaining the whole process, setting up your browser source so that it reacts to either your Spotify, Apple, music or YouTube music. Look at that right there in OBS. That's also something that I'm not going to go into. That's between you and Nutty. But here's the extra interesting part. At the bottom here, it says custom CSS template, which means that if you want to kind of modify it, you can do so. Since you'll add it as a browser source, you can add the template part in the custom CSS field right here. So the original will look like this. Let's copy the template, paste it in there, click OK. And now it looks like this. <laughs> OK, comic sense wacky colors all right now but this is actually really useful because it actually teaches us the name of the different parts so that if we want to customize them we can if you know what like i don't know why i'm wasting so much time the only modification i ended up doing is basically rounding all the corners even more and this is what my code looks like basically telling obs hey the main container i want you to remove that drop shadow also, the corner radius is on a variable, and I just set that to 50 pixels. What does that look like? Good question. It looks like that. So I guess this is a good case of, hey, if you want to customize it, make it look a different way, you can figure it out. How did I figure it out? Whatever link they give you at the end of the instructions, and this is something that I've shown before, so shame on you for not paying attention to my other videos. I'm basically going to paste it in its own browser, right? So it's going to look like this. Let me zoom out real quick. I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard and it's going to bring up uh, the inspector tool. Then from there, what I can do is click right here where it says uh, select element to inspect it. And I can hover and it will tell me. You see how it tells me? Oh, this is album art. This is song info and this is main container. But we already knew that. Anyway, now that we have it looking like this, it was time to create something for the background. And that's when I went on Twitch and spent hours modeling an old school MP3 player to kind of make it fit. The goal here was to create an image that would have transparency so that I can slide the actual music player under it. So it would react to it a little bit more. It would have some shadows affecting it and all that good stuff. Now, since I'm a generous king, you can find a link in the description where you can download those images for absolutely free. Or are there multiple images? Actually, I realized that if you pause the music or when it switches, it does a little transition. So for a couple of seconds, the music is just not visible anymore. If I skip here, you're going to see it do this and then come back. So if you're using a file like uh, the front face here, it would be completely transparent and you don't really want that. So I have a second render that you can put behind it that will display the actual MP3 player. Be patient, I'm gonna show you how to set that up in OBS Studio. I also realized that if I had a slight angle, like pointing down like that, it would still be possible to just overlay it on top of the image and it would just work. Same thing if it's tilted upwards like that or if you were looking from the bottom like that. But I also did a couple renders from left here to right here. And for this one, I'ma let you be creative, use something maybe like the 3D effect plugin or the corner pin effect from the shader filter plugin to make it match if you really want to. If you don't want to, it has completely fine. Okay, so here in OBS Studio, I'm going to do it in a separate scene, but you don't have to. You can just make it in whatever scene you want to use it in and then slap it in a group. But we would start by setting up our first image, which should be the background image. So source image, MP3 back, and then go find that image that you downloaded from the link in the description. We'll go with the basic front facing one. There you go. Very nice. Now we can add the front. So image once again, go find it front face right there. Oh, you can't even see the difference. It's perfect. Look at that. Bow, 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 bow. And now we're going to add our browser source that has our music player. So I'm going to go browser, call it whatever you want, calling it music player. And we want that link. Uh, I'm going to set mine to 1080p because that's the size of those images. 1080. Nice. Okay. This is the basic one. So we're going to do something about it. And that is copy this code. Uh, I think I'll probably have the code somewhere in the description. Check that out too. Double click on it and where it says custom CSS, you want to get rid of whatever is already in there. Boop, control V, bop, perfect. Click OK. It's good for you to learn how to figure those things out because, for example, I'm using YouTube Music. Maybe you're using Spotify. I don't use Spotify. I don't know what the code looks like. In case the code is different, I already explained all that. I don't need to explain it again anyway. <laughs> you want to roughly match it. 
kind of like that. Also use your arrows to move it around. There you go. And then you want to make sure that it is in between both of them. So front is going to be on top of it. Clips, plaps. Boop. That's it. That's it. Now you can group them up. Select them all, holding shift, clicking on the top or bottom one, boom. Group selected items like that. You can call it MP3. And now you can move it around together. Alrighty. Now, whatever scene you want this to appear in, you can just copy paste the group. Or if you have it in a separate scene like me, just import the scene as a source. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. My biggest issue is the fact that if you pause the music, the player disappears, right? But this doesn't disappear. I did everything to try to match the CSS to make it so that the image also disappears and I couldn't figure it out and I don't have all week to work on it. So any CSS geniuses, if you can manage to make that work, uh, please let me know in the comments and share with the class. But it's just a source. So if you wanna have like a keyboard shortcut to make it appear or disappear, you can do all of that good stuff within OBS Studio without any third-party software. Also, since we are in OBS Studio, you can do all sorts of extra stuff. For example, let's say that you would want an audio visualizer. We can use the Waveform Visualizer plugin. I already have videos on that, so I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining. So here, all I have to do is pick the audio source, go desktop audio. I can go with a line design here. Again, I'm not going in details, but you can put that in a group and make it part of it. Or if you wanna make it a circular one, that's also something that you can do since we have a circular part of all of that. Just go right layout this time we do not want a line let's go with like that uh, maybe mirror the frequency yes and then you can probably make it fit right there just make sure you put it underneath the front part there you go we can even change the blending mode to screen so it kind of affects it oh something big uh, if you don't like the color, what you can do is go to MP3 front here, go to filters and add a color correction filter. That is also something you should know, but whatever. And then play with the hue shift. It can be whatever color you want. Bump up the saturation if you want. Uh, make it red, make it yellow, make it pink, whatever floats your boat, that's what it will be. Or, you know, black and white also works if you don't want it to, to grab a lot of attention. Again, since this is something that has to do with music, we've shown, I, I urge you to watch that video, all the ways that we can make OBS react to audio. We could make the hue shift react to audio. We can make it brighter. We can make the whole group, I don't know, scale up with the audio if that's something that you want. Of course, you would need the move plugin installed. You would have to go to the filters of your desktop audio like that. Go to audio move. Add that. Make sure the transform value here is set to scale. Now you can select which scene you want and which source. Our source is MP3 3333, which is the group. And we can play around with the values. <laughs> it's going wild. Set the base value to one. And then here, this is not bad, but we want the easing to be brought up a lot. So it's a little chill, but reacts, but not too much. And right now you can see like it's scaling from the top left corner. I believe if we go and select the group, press control E, positional alignment is set to top left. We actually want it to be center. Then from there, we should be able to move this. There we go. Now we have something that's reacting to the music playing at the same time. All right, I talked about the other angles. Uh, let's say that we don't like this angle, right? We wanna change it. I could go double click the top here. Oh, I just realized we can do color combinations. Wait, <laughs> if I turn off the music player, we have a combination between the blue and the, the yellow. You would have to copy filters, like right click, you're gonna see copy filters and then right click, paste filters, boom, to match the colors. Anyway, if I wanna change the angle, I can just double click on here, on the top image that is, and let's go from bottom here like this. It doesn't match yet. MP3 back, now we can go from bottom back. Nice, those match, but the the music player doesn't match. So all we have to do is select it and just move it around a little bit. There you go, just like that, you have it. Probably want to scale it down a little bit. Same thing for the waveform visualizer. There you go. And it's that simple. Okay, let's say this is your game scene. I have it on my scene, so I'm gonna add it as a scene, just plus scene, and then look for scene four, which you would probably name more intelligently. And now I have it here. I can put it in a corner somewhere, something like that. And yeah, at any times, uh, people don't have to ask you, hey, which, which song is playing? If you don't want it to display all the time, what you can probably do is 
put it on a timer. If you're using something like Streamerbot, for example, you can do all sorts of things. You can make it so that every time someone asks you, oh, what song is playing right now? You can say like out loud using your voice command, you can be like song. And then that little thing pops up for a couple of seconds and then it disappears, but that's on you, okay? I did a good chunk of the work. I let you be creative with the rest. Watch my other tutorials, the one on music reaction, the, well, the four or fifth video I have on music reaction in OBS studio, my videos on Streamerbot, etc. Make sure you check out nutty.gg for that music player and some other really, really cool widgets. Almost all of them are free right now, so check them out. Also, while you're at it, check out gumroad.com slash level. I have a bunch of uh, alerts, transitions, full overlay packs for multiple things. And the vast majority is completely free also, and the rest is super affordable. And there you go. You can set up your old school MP3 music player in OBS Studio for your live streams. Now, depending on how this video does, I might do some more design. So if you have some cool ideas, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, Make sure you also follow Nutty, and I'll see you next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out. Was a little bit better. It's going to be hard for me to detach from that. but Yeah, because you, you tell all your own, it's like, I'm not a good editor. Like, I don't freaking know what I'm doing. I edit <laughs> because it's like a necessity, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you, you have to do it. But um, it's like, everyone's like, oh, I'm sure there's like really talented editors. Like, I can edit for you and stuff. It's like, it's not about like the talent level of the editor. It's like I have like a specific style that I've developed might not be a very good style, but it's like my style. <laughs>